um hey what's up so this question is um called it's called combine two tables it's a sql question so we have these two tables uh, the first one's called person the second one's called address so and each person uh, may have zero or more addresses and they are linked together with this id it's called uh, person id so, so this is a foreign key that is referencing this table so yeah that, that's basically it we have a one to many relation between these two tables uh, you, you can actually understand this without feeling anything just looking at the table uh, the table structure but uh, what you need to do is to write a sql query for a report that provides the following information for each person in the person table regardless if there is an address for each of those people so you need to get the first name, last name, city, state for every person, even if they don't have an address or any addresses, right? So the way, there is, I think, multiple ways to solve it, but I will solve it using left, uh, left join, and I will show you how you can solve it using right join. So select, and I will try to explain what left and right joins are. So select, uh, let's say now for, it's a star, from person actually it's a good thing to always name your tables uh, a shortcut like maybe p and now you will type uh, p dot that's name uh, p dot last name because you might have many tables you are joining with and what two of them has first name this will throw an error that this column is ambiguous and you need to be specific about what uh, column or from which table you want this column from. I want it from this person and I gave it an alias P. I think you can also do this uh, like this, but it's a shortcut to just add a space then the alias. Now I will do left join with the address table. I will call it A and now get A.city, A.state. Uh, left join address on a dot person id be equal to p dot person id so let's wait and i will tell you what left join means so left join means uh, if you look at the query look at the left part of the query look at the table on the left part person this table will uh, every row from this table will be in the end result even if this condition does not apply Okay, this is what this is mean. This literally means this. So just go to the left side, get everything, even if this condition does not apply. And in these places, we will have nulls, as you can see, we have some nulls for the city and the state because the, they don't have an equivalent or matching row in the address. Uh, you can actually submit now, that would be it. If you think about it, we have right join. If you put here right join, considering what I said, this means uh, we will go to the right part of the query and get everything from there no matter if the this condition in the on clause uh, may, were correct or not right uh, in our case this will not give us the correct answer we don't need all the addresses that don't have person we will only need the persons that don't have addresses so we will just swap this and name this a and then this p and it will still find so submit again so it's still fine actually there is also uh, one thing or one note if you are using the same column in the both tables on both tables on the only close you can actually put a shortcut called using and put the command column name now submit so the query is really now uh, smaller it's, it's not that important, but uh, this is something nice to know. I'm not sure if this exists in Oracle or maybe I'm not sure what the other option is, uh, SQL Server. But it's, it exists in MySQL. Most of us will work in SQL, in MySQL, sorry. So I think that's it. That, this, is, that's it. this is about uh, this question.